Now we're going to the Lemberg Gallery. See the work of Lynn Abedenka. Oh, he's somebody I know. <laughs> Lindbergh Gallery is also in Ferndale. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Hi. Is that um, Diane uh, Carr? It is. Yes. Wow. I was just talking to her on the internet about um, a few weeks ago. Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to see a lot in here today. There's the James Stevens. That's the next show. Ed Fraga. Diane Carr. Three great names of the cast corridor days. This is Corian. And this is Diane. Okay, oh, you're not in it anymore. Okay. <laughs> What a glorious looking show. Let's get an overview. I'm kind of proud of Lynn. Okay, thank you so much. You know, Lynn and I went to school together. Oh, you did? We got our, um, we, got, we were in graduate school at the same time. And uh, she worked at CCS for a number of years. I try to get like an overview because the point I make in these videos is that the people need to see the work in person. Yeah, especially this. This is special. Yeah. But there's a number of people who are not here. Like if, uh, I've got some people in Florida, um, Colorado, Oregon, all over. They subscribe to my channel because they're former Detroiters and they want to keep in touch. How come I don't know about this? About what? About my channel? Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's, my hand is really shaky. And so when I do these, they're kind of like, ha, ah, amateur. So I don't promote it. I just say, here's a show, go see it. Now Lynn is a printmaker, bookmaker, drafts person. Lynn does everything. And what's so wonderful about seeing this work is that from one distance, it says one thing, but up close you can add all kinds of inferences in to your understanding of the work. But with works like this, especially book works, and I'm not gonna go through the books for you because you wouldn't be able to get a sense of it. But look up her work. She's a very renowned artist, a wonderful person. I'm biased because I went to school with her at Wayne State University. What I also find so amazing is what you can do with the print media. More people should get involved with printmaking because it's just wonderful. This is the back room of the Lemberg Gallery. Oh, we're looking at some James Stevens stuff. His show is next. I will definitely be back for this, even though I don't get around much. But uh, well, I'll tell you all about James when I do his video. <laughs> you better hide. <laughs> I'll get up close on a few. Look at the calligraphy, the... Hebrew, 
the colors, the way it's laid out, the wood grain. This is all very subtle and powerful at the same time, which is why I'm not going to dwell on it again. And here is some white gloves, and here is a book, but we're not going to open it. I want to leave the mystery, but we'll do an overview of the whole show. This is also a very wonderful space. In the Metropolitan Detroit art community, there are several hubs of places. I guess a hub is a place, right? Where you can find groups of artists working, showing, interacting. Ferndale is one of them. Ferndale is just outside of Detroit proper, but it's part of the metropolitan Detroit area. Just like New York has five boroughs, Detroit has Ferndale, Royal Oak, Oak Park, Birmingham, Gross Points. Uh, what else is there? Dearborn, Wyandotte, Ann Arbor. Ooh, Ypsilanti. Don't want to forget those. But this is one of the nicest galleries. And it's been around, it's been here showing artists for a number of years, and that's wonderful. Here's another pair of white gloves. And I'll show you that on the cover of this book is a map of sorts so we can get an idea of what's inside. All the mapping. References to place. That's Lynn Evidenka.